Next up, let's transfer our application to the instance. This is a very simple copy and paste. I've got my zipped project here. We'll copy that. We can paste it straight onto the desktop. Now we simply wait for the transfer. With the transfer complete, we'll just simply extract this to the desktop. Extract. And we'll quickly wait for that. Should only take a moment. With that extracted, we'll run the executable just as is to get it to install a few prerequisites. As you can see here, Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime and DirectX. We'll agree to the terms and conditions, install. So it will say that it couldn't install this framework, but not to worry, that will still work just fine. Set up successful and close. Make sure it runs properly. Running an application directly through RDP will feel quite slow, so don't trust this experience as is. We know that's working, so we're just going to Alt F4 that one. Thankfully, we already have the pixel streaming infrastructure in the package project, so we'll navigate there now. Windows, PS Project, Samples, Pixel Streaming, Web Servers, Signaling Web Server, Platform Scripts, Command, because we're still on Windows, and then we'll run the Start Signaling Server script. I'll just right click and run that with PowerShell. Beautiful. So as you can see here, we now have a proper signaling server running on our AWS instance. Fantastic. With that, we need to set up our application again. So what we're going to do, we'll move that aside. We'll head back to our executable. Now you'll see the shortcut is broken from before because it's in a different directory. We'll just delete that shortcut. We'll make a fresh one. Properties, target, and then we'll paste on the usual launch args on the end which is the pixel streaming URL, render off screen, and allow pixel streaming commands. Apply, okay, and we'll run that shortcut. And if all's well, you should see it. Yeah, there we are, connected to the signaling server. With this running and connected, let's head back over to our instance details. We're back here at the connect window, and we'll click on the instance ID at the top here to take us back to this page. Now, all we need is the public IPv4 address, which we'll copy here, and we'll just open a new tab and slap it straight in. We've connected to the signaling server as a peer, click to start, and there you go. We're now connected to its pixel streaming application running on a Windows AWS instance running in Sydney from Melbourne. It's just that easy. Now that I've shown you the setup and connection, I'd like to quickly reiterate a point. It's entirely up to you on how, what requirements your AWS instance has, what security setups you will need, and what other information you require on the instance or what hardware it's using. Uh, make sure to cater to your specific needs. What we've set up here today is just a simple test environment, and we will go over a few other things about using pixel streaming on an instance, but at this stage, just make sure to keep that in mind.